Hi there, my name is Chris Pazenko Green. I'm the Boat Building Program Manager here at Falmouth Marine School. Today you join us in our dedicated workshops at Pond Chardon in Falmouth. Um, we're going to take a, a quick look around the facilities, we'll show you some of the projects, have a talk about the courses and look at some of the things you'll be doing uh, if you come to study boat building with us. So the boat building courses we run here at Falmouth Marine School, we have the City and Guilds Level 2 Foundation course, the City and Guilds Level 3 Advanced Diploma and also our Boat Building Restoration and Repair Diploma. All of our courses will follow a very similar progression as you work through, starting off with simple bench joinery exercises where you'll learn to use standard tools to create some quality joinery, even going from our largest to our smallest bench planes that we would use. We'll then progress on from here into our theory aspects where we'll start to look at the design and production of our boat components. So as we progress, yeah, we will look in details at the designs of boats and how you actually fabricate some uh, plans for a, a hull of a boat. Um, and what we can see here, we are broken down into various sections, a, a hull into the different lines. And you'll also look at plans for oars and paddles and maybe fabricate a paddle during your time with us. So having now learnt a little bit more about the design and components that are going into the boat, you'll take your skills that you've learnt doing your bench joinery exercises and take them into more marine specific tasks such as fabricating a yacht grating. Uh, here we have a stem section, a detailed section of uh, a keel part of a vessel and things like a rudder. You may also get involved with fabricating a half model for a hull. Okay. And uh, again, that will take you further through the design process of how boats are constructed. So at this stage of your journey to becoming a boat builder, we're now moving on to our actual live project boats. So throughout the year, we have many different vessels that will come in. Some of these just require a simple refinish. Others are a full restoration project. And some projects are actually brand new builds. During this time, you'll learn some of the, the more unfamiliar tools, the traditional shipwrights tools, and put these into good use, learning those skills as you develop and consolidate your learning. So during some of your theory and practical exercises and uh, lessons with us, we're going to look at materials that are used within boat building, um, through metals, woods, timber, um, whether they're manufactured, natural, we'll also look at plastics and composites. One particular material that we use a lot of is timber, so we will be looking at items such as this bow of oak and how we convert that from its natural form into usable planks of timber. So here we have some oak that has now been converted and has been stickered up to dry out so it's more usable. Um, this particular oak we would be using for actually steam bending into frames into boats, so we don't want it to dry out too much. Um, but this is the state that we get it just before we do final planing and get it to some nice smooth surfaces ready to fabricate our boat components. So just to finish off um, the tour of the woodworking workshop, we're now into our machining area. So things like our dimension saw, our resaw and our planing machines behind. All right, throughout your course you will learn how to use these machines safely, what they're all used in particular for. and. Uh, you'll be using them to fabricate your components in order to work on the boat projects. Hi, my name is Drew. I enrolled in the Level 2 Boat Building course in 2016, um, which was a great introduction into the boat building industry. Um, they teach uh, wooden joinery, uh, traditional as well as uh, modern boat building techniques, as well as GRP composites. They have a fair share of um, ongoing projects for students and um, they also share their workshop with the Maritime Museum. Um, so you're surrounded by experienced people who um, are never shy to answer questions. Um, while I was there I also got the opportunity to work in France for two weeks which was a great experience for me. Um, since Leaving the Maritime, uh, the Bamford Marine School, um, I worked at Cockwell's Boatyard for three years, um, building luxury multi yachts and soap yacht tenders. Um, I finished in January. Um, I'm now in the Philippines, where I've just been offered a job um, crewing 
on a 27 meter uh, multi yacht uh, as maintenance crew. Uh, so it's full of opportunity. So let's talk about our courses in a little more detail. All of our courses are vocational, so you will be undertaking approximately 25% theory and 75% practical work. The practical work will be taken in the workshops, both at the bench, up in the composite workshops, or working on our live boat projects. All of our courses are made up of five components. You will be studying subjects from safe working within the marine industry, boat construction technologies, business improvement techniques, and then our last two units are geared around wooden boat construction and components and also composite and fiberglass components. I'm now going to hand you over to my colleague Simon who will talk to you a little bit about the composites aspects of the courses. Hi, my name is Simon Kim. I'm actually one of the course tutors on the boat building course here in Falmouth Marine School. Uh, this is my actual composites workshop. So while you're actually on one of our courses for boat building, we introduce you to this whole range of actual materials and structures. We'll actually teach you from the actual plug making to the moulds and then the mouldings themselves. We have a variety of mouldings which are actually being produced out of all our moulds here. We also talk about split moulds. So this one here is slightly more complicated to actually construct than the actual flat moulds, but it's something we will actually talk about. We then go into these thwart moulds here. This is actually for our resident 15 foot skiff. Um, we bond these in so they're buoyancy tanks within the actual FRP uh, construction themselves. Within that, we have core structures. So we also talk about the actual different structures of the actual laminates themselves, how we can actually gain lightness on the materials and the actual products. That then leads into the different types of materials we could use within the laminate. We also talk about the, uh, the process of the actual construction of that. So we talk about hand lay, resin infusion, vacuum bagging. All of those will be actually um, described to you in different variants and different uh, ways of doing this. You will see videos of actual ones that we've done in the past and we will actually get to construct some of our moulds themselves in resin infusion. That is using this machine here. Um, we've got a, ra a range of different sized materials and moulds. We go from around about a one metre mould to one of these actual kayaks here behind me, which is actually one of our larger hand lay, which could be infused if the actual potential customer is there. So having studied one of our boat building courses, where do you go from there? The natural progression from our level two foundation course is a, into our level three boat building diploma. Having studied the Level 3 Boat Building Diploma or the Falmouth Marine School Boat Building Restoration and Repair Diploma, you'll be prepared to move into employment within the marine industry or even self-employment. Throughout the courses you will learn a lot of transferable skills, so you're not necessarily going to be pigeonholed into that industry. We have had students leave and move into furniture making, into site joinery, oak frame timber buildings and other aspects to, with regards to composite construction.